How's it going, lads? Now we're here with a new camera, actually. I upgraded my webcam to, like, the Logitech Brio, I think it's called. Um, I know it would be better just to get, like, a normal camera. And I know that, like, I still need to tweak the settings. Like, it doesn't look that great. It's super grainy on the sides and flickering. But, um, anyways, I might record this twice and pick the best one. Anyways, I want to show you another week of pickups and mail call. This has been an extremely good week of... Uh, Atlas titles and my cousin actually came by and saw my collection and said like hey I have a bunch of stuff that is just collecting dust do you want it so he brought most of his stuff that he could and we packed out some things that I wanted and you know made a pretty good deal we're both pretty happy so let's jump into it first thing I have three Atlas games from uh, <clears throat> these are from Double Jump video games saw them pop up on their store page so we got Shining Force on GBA this is the last well, less the Shining games that the Atlas produced. Um, still plenty of GBA ones. Like, I swear the handheld library Atlas produced so many for. Um, next one we also got was Tactics Ogre, The Knight of Lotus. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, you know, those were... I don't think they're pretty... Not, like, uncommon, I would say. But it's good to grab those. Uh, last one they had was uh, Dragon's Crown on Vita. Um, this is missing a manual if it comes with one, but honestly, I'm not, when it comes to, like, the cases, manuals is not a really big concern for me. It's mainly a uh, case in the game that I want. Um, unless, like, the manual is also, like, the front artwork, like, the PS1 games. I think that's how that works. But, yeah, like, if I see a manual, I'll pick it up, but I'm not, like, that concerned about, like, if that never gets a manual, I'm fine. So, thanks again to Double Jump Video Games. Glad to get some more games from them. Give them more of my money. Um, but yeah, no, those are good. The other, let's see, these next two, I have a couple from eBay and uh, Mercari. I guess I'll do eBay first. So we got uh, Radiant Historia with the music CD complete. Um, this was not like a terrible price for it. It was like a little high, but... I decided just to go for it because, I don't know, this one intrigued me. I just, like, saw it pop up on eBay a while ago and wanted to find one for not a terrible price, and this fit into that price range. Um, but, yeah, I know, it has a box, a music CD. I really dig that. Um, yeah, so one more Atlas game taken care of. We got, like, how many did I actually get this week? I got, like, seven Atlas games. That's incredible. Oh, wow, I'm struggling to close this. Um, next one. This is kind of... <laughs> we also got Dragon's Crown on PS3. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go for, like... I guess I'd call them the variants, where, like, they released on multiple consoles. But when I got the Persona on PS4 and PS3, I kind of decided, like, eh, it's worth it. It's not, it's not that many multi-console releases for Atlas, so... It's not that ridiculous to go for every one. I think there's this, there's like some 360 and PS3 crossover. And I think there's like one on that, there's some 3DS and Vita as well. It's not too many, so we'll be fine with that. Um, so that was the two eBay ones. Next we're going into the Makari pile. Uh, we also got the Dark Spire, complete with the music CD. This one was uh, a bit under what price charting rated it at, and I think it's actually... So I jumped on that. It's even like better than I thought because um, the music CD is still sealed. I don't know if you can see that. That's really hard to show. There's a little sticker still on it. I'm like, if I try to pull it apart, it's like, yeah, clearly still attached. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it sealed because I haven't kind of downloading VSD game soundtracks for a while, and I think they're pretty neat to you know actually be able to listen to. I don't know if I. Why? Unless I want, like, the whole thing sealed, I wouldn't keep just part of it sealed, you know? But we'll just unseal that when time comes. But, yeah, again, that for the prices listed and still having that game sealed was kind of nice. This one looks like a weird RPG style. It says it's like a classic one. Which is cool. I wonder if this one is priced so high because it didn't sell well. Anyways. <laughs> one more Atlas game from Akari. We got... Baroque for Wii. This one is... Oh, Jesus. Case didn't hold this case, but it is complete. Disc is in nice shape. 
So maybe some minor scratches. Uh, this one, you know, was in good shape. It just has, it was definitely used in GameStop, so it's just covered in stickers, and they're the kinds that don't peel off easily. So I'm gonna have to take some time to kind of clean up this case. I kind of just scraped them off because I was impatient. Um, yeah, so that you know, that's my Atlas collection for this week. Pretty nice. One thing, just a little side note, like both these music game boxes, they're like slightly different sizes. Like it's, it's like a few millimeters difference. Like the Radiant Histori is like a millimeter taller and the Dark Spire is like, I don't know, a few millimeters longer, which really bothers me, I don't know why. It just makes it hard to um, put them on a shelf neatly, but tangent aside, nice to have both of those. Um, I'm gonna have to really slow down the going for the Atlas collection because it's getting expensive. I'm getting, I've gotten a lot of the cheaper games out of the way, so the ones I'm starting to look at are like getting into like the 30, 40, 50 range, and it's like that's too much to buy multiple of a week. Like, I'm gonna, like, I probably should. Probably should just go down to like one a month, maybe. Like, I need to start saving money for potential future things. It's just like, there's always, you always should save more. Like, saving money is good. But I've been doing bit that badly. I also got two more games off Makari. Um, we got these in the same bundle. I got Animal Crossing and Super Mario Sunshine. Wow, Super Mario Sunshine. Both the player's choice ones, which is fine. I don't really care about the player's choice versus regular copies. Uh, these are both complete, which is nice. As far as I tell, they have the manuals, the inserts, discs are a nice shape. Um, maybe there's something like other little piece of paper that's missing from them. Animal Crossing doesn't have the memory card, which I think why that is why that game is super complete, because it says, you know, if you have like the special memory card, it's like a bonus on it. Um, yeah, that's obviously missing, but um, I mainly just wanted this for Sunshine, but it was priced pretty much that I don't know. <clears throat> the price for this bundle made it like the Animal Crossing was like super cheap, so I figured, eh, might as well pay like a tiny bit extra to get this game, because it's not a cheap game. I think this one goes for like between the $20 and $30 range. And I believe this is the first Animal Crossing that we got in the West. I know there was one in N64, but I believe that was Japan exclusive. I could be wrong on that. Let me know if I'm if I'm spreading false information. But that is all the mail calls. Uh, I haven't picked up anything physically since the hardware pickup, except for this bundle I got from my cousin. So yeah, so my cousin, you know, he was hanging out one day over here, we were just chatting, and I showed him my game collection, and he was, thought it was really cool, and then he remembered he had a lot of Nintendo handhelds and some other stuff growing up that he figured like, hey, if you want it, like, I can give it to you, and I told him I couldn't just take it, I'd have to pay him something, and it ended up being, he didn't actually know how much they were really worth, so I paid, you know, under market value, you know, family pricing, but I think we were both happy. I got a lot of stuff I wanted. He got some extra money. He's going back to college, so he's got, you know, college is expensive. Extra money is always good for them, so I think we both walked away happy. Um, I don't know. If he ever wants some of this back, because I could see he, he was getting kind of like the nostalgia waves that I was getting when I was first picking up these games that I lost as a kid. And if he ever wants these back, I'll definitely just give them back. We'll just do a straight trade again. But I was happy to add them for my collection, if only temporary. So, first things first, you got the original model DS. This is the last console I had growing up as a child that I currently like lost. I actually, um, I got this when I was pretty young. It was shortly after the DS came out, because I know it was like, Super Mario 64 was out, and like I had Metro Prime Hunters, the demo one, so it was fairly early on in the DS's launch. Um, and I had it for a while, and I loved it, but then, I was on a plane trip once and uh, was in a seat by myself and we're getting up to go. I slept through like most of it and I ended up just leaving on the seat, I think, you know, contacted the airport, but it was never found. It's unfortunate. And that's actually why I sold a lot of my old original DS collection and this because I wanted to get a GameCube and didn't have the system for it any anymore. So yeah, happy to have that back though. You know, this is my last kind of like console that I was looking for. I actually don't ha I technically don't have the original model of SP, but I prefer the 101 because it's just better for playing on, so I'm happy to stick with that. Um, as far as DS games, he actually had the Metroid Prime Hunters uh, First Hunt demo. Didn't have this little slip sleeve, but you know I can 
I'm not too worried about that. If I find it at some point, I'll upgrade it, but good to have. Another uh, loose DS game was Star Fox Command. This one I just got because, you know, I don't really have... I'm, I currently only have the bad Star Fox games. I have Star Fox Zero and this. Uh, actually, I still don't know how bad that one is, actually. I haven't seen gameplay of it or played it myself. But, you know, that one I could probably find a case for, not too hard. Um, got one DS game in the case. He had Pokemon Pearl. Uh, he had a loose one and the one in the case, and he let me take the case, which is very nice. It's complete with all the inserts in the manual. So that is one more Pokemon game off the list. I think I only have um, two. Let's see. Two, three, six more games left to get for that. So not close on that, but you know, it's an easy collection to get. Not really impressive to own every Pokemon game. <clears throat> um, yeah, two games I was debating about buying from stores for a while. I was like checking eBay prices for these, but it was a uh, Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid Fusion. The Zero Mission is a not for resale bundle, or version, not bundle, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, not really going for like a not for resale collection. Whew, just throwing that across the room. Um, but yeah, no, I wanted to try some of the Metroid games, and these ones looked like I don't know, kind of the best ones to start with. At least Zero Mission, because it's just a remake of Metroid 1. Um, yeah, I was rich actually to buy those from Double Jump, but then I thought about it, and I was like, you know, it's a lot of money for those retail. And I like to buy from retail stores to support them, but I can't buy everything from a retail store, you know? So... Kind of nice to get those it's a little bit cheaper. Um, the other one that was really cool was Yoshi's Island. This is the third Super Mario Advance game. There's, yeah, there's four, right? Yeah, there's a fourth one. I can't remember which game that is, but... Oh, the, the fourth one is Super Mario Bros. 3. Because whoever named those games is clearly drunk. <laughs> um, the last couple ones, these are kind of filler ones, but just like... Uh, ones that are in good condition, and he had a lot of, like good memories about pl or good memories from playing them. So I figured like these are kind of good ones to add. Uh, we got Teen Titans, and then Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, again, I'm not really going for like the Pokemon side games, but uh, the pinball ones. I don't know pinball games are fun, so might as well get that one. And the last two is Spyro Orange and Sonic Battle. Uh, there, he had another Sonic game. I think it was a Sonic Advance. But I kind of just... I noticed it after we did our discussions. It just... I don't know. Don't want to take too much of his collection. You know? And... So yeah. That's pretty much what I got. There were some other things I kind of wanted. Like there was... He had a Super Mario... Or not Super Mario. A Sonic Advance that I was like, maybe I should get. But the label wasn't in great condition. So... Kind of decided against it. And... You know, he had a lot of like the original... like. A lot of Pokemon games. He had you know, two copies of Emerald, two copies of Sapphire, Ruby, Fire Red, Leaf Green, a copy of Gold. So, a lot of good games that you know are good to collect, or if you don't have, they're like good for, like for flipping. But I didn't want to offer him anything on those because it seems really rude to like have a family member like give you part of his collection. Say, yeah, I'll take that, and then just sell it. That doesn't seem cool. So I didn't want to take anything that I wasn't going to stay permanent in the collection. That's, he had a lot of other filler titles too I was debating about offering on. But I was like, I don't really know if I honestly keep all those. So I, just, I decided against offering him stuff for those. Maybe down the road that might change. But for now, very happy with this bundle. Thank you again for letting me have part of these for a good price. And yeah, I keep talking about slowing down on collecting and then things like these happen. But honestly, collection is going to start slowing down here soon. Especially because it's my work's getting slower, which is good. I'm not as busy and stressed, but the tips are not be as good, so less uh, income, and definitely reduce my disposal income because I need to start saving for. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to move houses. <clears throat> wow, voice crack. I'm gonna move houses at some point. Other things in life cost money, and I need to save up for those. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did. Um. Let me know how the new webcam looks. I'll definitely be tweaking that for future videos. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.